Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna work on this plugin again. Um, today I'm gonna try to add um, more variety to this, so I was thinking making this um, able to spawn on the right for example. And my goal for today is to try and have a thousand different possibilities. Right now it's currently uh, 80 I think, so I'm gonna add more uh, currencies, I'm gonna add more maps and I'm gonna do a bunch of things to uh, hopefully create more variety so yeah let's start so I'm gonna start with making more maps so right now this is uh, the first map I'm gonna create map 3 variety variant I mean not variety my bad um, so I'm gonna probably make a time lapse of me working on this uh, to make a third map variety so I'm probably gonna make this instead of this light green, I'll probably make it uh, a slightly darker map. So, yeah, let's start. Alright, so um, I have updated the plugin with a new map. Um, there should be 120 varieties. Let me check real quick. Yeah, 120. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you the new map real quick. Here's the new map. It should all work if the game loads in, that is. Alright, here we are. Uh, I don't know why this happens, but I don't think it really matters. So here you have the new map. This is a spawn area for things to spawn in. Here is uh, the leaderboard. Um, here's the settings from the last video, which I'm pretty happy with. Uh, yeah, that's the map. Now, I'm gonna add... Uh, more currencies. I'm gonna add more currencies. Actually, no, no, no. I'm gonna make it so this UI can be placed on the right side. Game. So now the UI can spawn like this on the left side, like before, or it can spawn on the right side. If I, yeah, on the right side. Uh, it should be all working too. Now the UI is just on the right side. Settings work. Everything works, except it's on the right side. This will also create more variety in the games that are made with this. Um, just a small thing, but I think it will help. If I add a lot of these things, and it's going to be a good generator. Um, so now this uh, adds the total uh, up to 240. So I just need to create times for the possibilities. Um, and then I've already hit a thousand. So I think I'm doing good. I am not sure what to add next, I'm just going to add a few currencies, uh, I was thinking of adding upgrades later but I want to do that in a separate video where I add upgrades and then you can just upgrade your things or reverse, 
and then the prizes will be like generated, you know. Uh, yeah, I don't know much else to add. Maybe I'll just add a new map, more currencies, and then try to hit it like that. Hello, everyone. So I've now made the possibility for these buttons and the currencies to be on opposite sides. So now instead of both of them being at either the left or the right side, now um, they're both chosen separately, which doubles the possibilities. So as you see, it can spawn on one side, it can spawn on the other side, and uh, it can spawn split like this. This one can also spawn on the right and this one on the left, which creates 600 different possibilities right now because this uh, creates a double amount of variety for the UI layouts. So now there's uh, 600 different game types that can be made. And that's for the game types combined. So that's collectors plus clickers combined. So I think that's pretty good. Um, I'm probably going to add some extra maps or... Map Alright everyone. So I've just created another map layout. Uh, this one is again slightly different. The map walls are pretty much the exact same as the other one, except this one has this section, which is like a little bit higher than the rest of the map, which I think is pretty cool. But yeah, whatever. New um, new map puts the total uh combinations up to eight hundred, so that's good. Now there's just two hundred combinations left to go. All right, so I've done something really smart. Um. I've asked ChatGPT to come up with this actually because I didn't know what to add to get to a thousand combinations. So what I've done is look at my counter. I've made it so it can either have a Mac, I mean a default of one or two. And this might seem something useless to add, but if you think about it, this is actually quite a good idea because you know there's some games with, where you just get um, more default and. Uh, later when I add upgrades, it's going to be able to uh, generate easier and harder games using this. Um, so this is good. I've added this for clickers, as you see right now. And I've added this for um, collector games, where you also have a currency multiplier. Which uh, sets the total combinations possible. That this game, uh, I mean, this plugin is able to generate from 800 to 1600 because, yes, this doubles the amount of possibilities. So, yeah, now um, you can generate 1600 um, combinations with my plugin. Well, at the start of the video, it was like 60 or something, I don't even remember, but it was like nothing. So, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, next uh, update on my plugin. It's gonna be uh, rebirths, so I'm gonna have random rebirth prices and that kind of stuff. Uh, that should be good, probably. So yeah, that was the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to comment if you have any ideas or to add. And yeah, bye.